Chris Nash. Welcome, Chris. Yay. Yeah, I've been following your company. I, I did one Rockstone research report earlier this year. Uh, uh, I really like uh, your project. You were in BC, not really in the Golden Triangle, but it's another really interesting area. Can you tell us a bit about your projects and uh, what are you up to now, exploration-wise? Sure. Um, am I able to share the screen? Yeah, share it. You can try it now. Uh, share screen. Yeah, now we can see it. There, do you see that? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm, um, my name is Christopher Nass. I'm, um, the project manager, uh, for the, the work program that's been going on for IMC. Um, David can get, uh, into the corporate uh, side of things, but um, uh, I'll just kind of touch on the, the property. Um, just kind of my quick background, I'm a PGO, I've uh, been working around the world and, and started uh, various companies, Yellowhead Mining, um, for example, founding director of that, and then founding director of Thane Minerals, which <clears throat> um, staked the um, Thane property and then which was acquired by IMC uh, earlier this year. I was uh, retained to uh, continue with the work program on it. So um, what we've got, um, the, the Thane property is approximately 20 square, um, sorry, 20,000 hectares. It's located up in North Central BC. Um, 48 10 years. Um, what's nice about this uh, location of the property is that uh, it is close to the um, infrastructure. Although there aren't roads that actually go deep into the property, they do go on the outskirts of the property. Uh, the main line that's just 12 kilometers off the side is the main line that goes up to Chemis uh, with the power line um, right next door. Um, What's nice about this property is its location in that we are in the Quinell terrain. Uh, to the north, we have the Chemis. Uh, to the south, we have Mount Milligan. And so, you know, this, we're in elephant country when it comes to porphyry copper. And that's the style of deposit um, that we're looking at is a porphyry copper gold. Um, in this, uh, the property was, the government has, has taken an interest in this area on the last few years uh, because it's been relatively underexplored. Uh, even though we, we have the chemist, the Tutagon area far to the north, we're kind of in this, this no man's land of the uh, Tutagon in the north and, and Mount Milligan down to the south. And so the government came in and did some very detailed mapping, starting to try to bring in interest into the area. And that's what this map here is. We're basically uh, intrusive rocks hosting this porphyry copper. Um, what we have found to date on the property is kind of six, six areas of, of copper gold and, and silver mineralization um, from a variety of, of um, uh, styles, whether it be, say, in the, the north, the match showing where we can get up to 4,000 grams silver down to the cathedral where we're getting almost an ounce of gold. Uh, well, this is here is summarizing kind of the, the air historical work. Now, what's important, I think, is that this property, it's a new discovery. Uh, it was staked. Uh, I staked it back in uh, 2000. Uh, in nine and uh, based on government silt sampling and, and expanded that land position and then have gone in and done and done work on the property. So all the results that you're looking at are samples that have been collected by us uh, in the last uh, 10 years. And we've been moving this project along, you know, slowly up until last year, it was just privately funded by myself and my partner. And then with IMC coming on board uh, this current year, we've been able to put more significant uh, funding in, in, and therefore more significant exploration work. Um, 
as I just mentioned, it is a what we're it is a porphyry. We the work we did back in 2017, I mean, we had all these exciting gold and copper numbers, and we, we wanted to put it all together. And so the mapping and the modeling that we've done suggests that it is a porphyry copper. And, and this is kind of an illustration of porphyry coppers that's being classic that's being used. It's just not to get too technical, but this is where we're kind of uh, putting ourselves the red. Uh, the red circle here. The previous slide showed that there are several uh, showings uh, or, or areas of mineralization. And, and the type of deposits that we're looking at, again, without getting too technical, these alkalic porphyries, they're actually quite well small compared to the more traditional calc alkalic where they're kilometers. They can, they can be just a couple of kilometers in diameter. And so you can get these pods all over the place of multiple um, deposits within your property. So we do have a good land position. And today we found like it's probably at least six of these, these um, satellite deposits. Um, again, this is just a quick uh, diagram showing that this system is a copper gold system, uh, the Molly there's not a lot of molybdenum here. It's all plotting up in the gold and, and, and copper areas, which is nice because I'd rather have a gold kicker than, than a molly. Um, so this past summer, uh, as I said, with IMC getting involved, we were able to, uh, we went back in and uh, did a lot of um, geological modeling. Um, there has been no drilling on this property. So this is, a grassroots exploration program, taking it basically from a silt sample up to where we are today. And so we wanted to continue doing this petrographic work to, to find out, because we're down in the trees, we don't have a lot of outcrop. So we were modeling this to figure out where is the best place to drill. We also did expanded doing IP, again, looking at depth. We've got all these surface expressions and we want to see what we've got at depth, again, with soils and rocks, as well as geological mapping. So of these six areas, the most, um, the, the area that we've done the most work is what we call the cathedral area. And there are four principal areas, uh, the Pinnacle Cathedral, Cathedral South, and, and Gully. And this is a map from um, last year's work. It's, it's up on the website. And you can see the alteration, the, the rock sampling. Again, all these rock samples that you see in triangles are samples that we've collected. Um, there was no sampling at all done here in the past. It's a brand new discovery of the cathedral. And um, the uh, lines that you see here, uh, this is the IP lines that we did last year, picking up um, chargeability anomalies, we're picking up uh, two in the the, the northern part and we picking up one down below in the south and these line up um, this year we did the soil sampling along the soil uh, these grid lines but this line here is a contour soil sample we did and you can see how the soil samples uh, have, have kicked up on the um, on the edges of our IP anomaly. The, the gold values the copper values are quite significant um, in the pinnacle area the, the style of mineralization is sheeted quartz veins where we're getting up to 20 grams, float samples 23, but these samples that you see, 20 grams, eight grams, four grams are all outcrop samples um, from the pinnacle area. <clears throat> Cathedral, we get sheeted, but they're massive calcopyrite veins coming through. That's where you're getting 13, 12% copper. Again, what's, what's nice about the cathedral area is the significant gold values that we're getting. We get high copper, we get high gold, six grams, three grams, uh, even in the disseminated calcopyrite copper values where we're getting 0.5%, we're still getting 0.4 grams gold, one gram gold. Um, so we get significant gold with our copper mineralization. And this area is about two square, two kilometers by two kilometers. So it's a significant area that has yet to be drilled. Again, this just gets into uh, probably a little easier to read just the, the, the gold values and the copper values. 
again, um, where there is silver credits here, as you can see, but we're focusing in on the copper and, and gold. This is just a photo of the style. Uh, this is the massive calcopyrite veining that you come through. The other sample is more traditional fracture filled porphyry copper gold uh, system that you see. Uh, if we move up into the pinnacle area, this is our sampling and you get these structures coming through. Um, it's more vein controlled and these are uh, sample uh, photos of the sampling with kind of a breccia system that's coming up uh, through through the area. Uh, we think this is just a, a higher in the model. It just kind of fits higher up in the system. Uh, what we think is happening is the porphyry, it's tilted. Um, it's tilted over and so in the north you get higher up in the system, uh, which is actually good because if it's tilted, it just means instead of going down deep to get into your grade, you just go down south. Uh, and being tilted is quite common. Uh, the Mount Milligan and chemists uh, in the area, Lorraine deposit, uh, if people are familiar with that, that's just uh, 20 kilometers to the south of us and they're all tilted to the north. Um, just although the cathedral area is the, kind of being our principal focus, uh, just because um, it's got the most work done as well as got significant copper and gold. We have uh, looked at other areas and the CGL area. Um, what's different about this one is that it's a contact between the intrusive, which is on the left and non-intrusive rocks on the right. And um, again, we get uh, very significant high grade copper values. Uh, you almost see the flow banding with the, their magnetite breaches coming through, uh, still getting into the fragmented, but, but there's more of this magnetite. So it's a different part of the system. Uh, again, another one of the areas, uh, Gale, we haven't spent a lot of time here. All the, again, all the sampling you see is sampling that we've done over the past uh, few years, but we didn't focus this year on this area. Um, again, our, our objective this year was to go in and find out areas that we could come in and diamond drill. And for that, we focused in on the cathedral. But still, this is another potential deposit, again, with uh, significant copper values. Um, these are the values here. Again, uh, significant gold values. One of the things that's nice about, I think, what we're going to find with this deposit uh, as we move forward is um, so many projects I've been on, you have the tonnage, but you're always just trying to get that extra kicker of gold or, or silver or some element in there just to put it over that, you know, over the cusp. And what we're finding here is we've got the grades, you know, it, albeit there are rock samples are all um, from outcrop, but what we're finding is we have significant copper and we have significant gold. So it's our belief that as we go down and be able to drill this, we're going to start seeing significant copper and gold grades. So what we plan on doing this coming year, um, as again, I, this past year, our work was focused in on developing targets for, for drilling. And so next year, we're going to go in and we're gonna target our areas uh, at the cathedral area. We also did some work over at the CERC, which is another um, area of, of mineralization just to the north. Uh, we've got potential drill holes there, as well as expanding, just again, the controls on mineralization. Because we've got such a large land package, we've got several areas identified, we still wanna start developing. So we kind of line them up we might have a, an area that's ready for drilling this year and we're going to set things up so that other areas become ready for drilling next year and the year after. So that's uh, these are just some photos just to show the terrain of you know, where we're at um, in, in BC. No, it's really well, have any there. questions? No, it's, anybody any questions? I think it's an amazing project. It's a really high grade as you showed and porphyries, they tend to be big and everybody's looking for porphyries right now in the golden triangle, which isn't far, far off from your project. And you have mining projects also here next to you. 
your stock, it was at $1 in, in April this year. You have uh, 54 million shares outstanding. So right now your stock is at 10 cents. So fundamentally nothing really changed, right? I mean, you still have this property management was uh, changing. So I think 10 cents and you were a dollar in, in, in April. Fundamentally, nothing really changed. Can you tell us anything about that? Uh, about the stock going down? I'm a geologist, so I, <laughs> I'll leave the corporate side to, uh, uh, to Dave. I know, um, uh, you know we're, we are changing uh, the makeup of personnel. I'm being, uh, coming on as a director and CEO of the company. Um, so we're just building up our team and Dave could elaborate on that, I guess. Yeah, we're just, it's Dave McMillan here. This is in my past. Uh, I was involved with uh, uh, Bob Dickinson and Hunter Dickinson. And we were uh, originally discovered the uh, uh, Mount Milligan deposit. And we, we uh, were involved in the original um, companies in the uh, Comes project and then the Comes mine. So familiar with the area, we got uh, a little bit of a, a soft spot in the, in the market on the price of the, of the stock. It peaked at a dollar and came down. A lot of profit taking. Um, Basically, it went up too fast and came down just as fast. Um, but, you know, we're reorganizing the sort of the management side of it. I'm on, came on as an as a interim CEO, uh, but we're going to strengthen the, uh, the management of the company. We're going to uh, uh, get our 2020 summer report uh, expiration program that report will be coming out soon. Um, we're going to update all our marketing materials and the website and everything to reflect uh, the latest. And uh, we'll restart our marketing program in uh, late January, but uh, early February. And uh, you know, we're looking at other properties. One of the one of the sort of the drawbacks on the on the Thane property is, is that at this point in the early stages of the expiration, it's, it's um, uh, weather restricted. And uh, what do we got there? Uh, mountain goats uh, breeding period. So we can't get on there until the, you know, the early summer. So it, uh, we're looking at other properties in BC could give us a year round expiration, but our, our real focus is going to be on the Thane property. Um, what else are we doing here? Well, I, I can add um, just that we are fully permitted uh, for drilling and uh, we have um, agreements in place with First Nation. So from our due diligence on, you know, we're, we're 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 moving along. We're good on that side. It's just as Dave said, we are. Um, you know, if we if we start, the cathedral area is five kilometers away from road access. Is where we used to move our gear in from, and it's a straight valley straight down to it, easy valley down to it. I've already scoped out a road, so if we start um, uh, hitting you know significant mineralization, which we think we will. Uh, it's pretty easy to just punch in a road. And then once we punch in a road, um, uh, worked on the Yellowhead project where it's drilling in the middle of winter is not a problem if you yeah. have road access. So um, it's easy to get road access into the cathedral area where we are right now. Thanks so much, Chris Nash and Dave McMillan. I'm uh, really looking forward to your project development and that you took your time today. Follow IMC International Mining. The CSC symbol is IMCX. They have 40, 54 million shares outstanding right now, trading at 10 cents and have a market cap of 6 million.